Welcome to this tutorial 2 where we will be installing Cyperf agents. In tutorial 1, we install the Cyperf controller and the UI. Same as controller, you can download the agent from, as an OVA from XCR's support site or you can go to github.com openxia aws cyperf to find different types of CloudFormation templates available for installing the agents in AWS. Let's start with downloading and deploying the OVA in ESX. So I'll create and register VM and I would deploy a virtual machine from an OVA file. I've already downloaded it. I will keep it a name which I can remember and relate to. So I'll call it agent-client. Let's look at the location where the OVA is. I will drag and drop this agent OVA. Click on next. Keep everything same in general. I would set it to thin for now. I would set the management network and test networks appropriately. It might differ in your network. So ensure when you choose the management network, which would be used to connect with the controller and the test network would be used to generate the test traffic. Click next. I'll finish it. I'll repeat the same and one more time to deploy my server side of the agent. So let's do that. So it took around 15 minutes, but both my agent-client and agent-servers are not are, are up. I use the same OVA for the client and the server. Now let's go in one of them. So I'll go in. The username and password for all these machines is CYPERF, CYPERF. Username and password cyper cyperf, and I'm in the client agent. Now, what you have to type here is called Cyperf Agent, and this CLI would guide you through adding controller, adding which interface will be test, which interface will be uh, management, and all those other stuff, right? So it's a, it's a helpful CLI. Uh, I will first add the controller. Uh, if you remember my tutorial one, that's where we de deployed the Cyperf controller. So let's quickly check what was the IP of, of the controller. So it's 10, 109, 11, 59. Let me copy it. And what I will do here is I'll execute the command cyperf agent controller set. So I need to use sudo for it. Cyperf, cyperf. And what you see is that the controller IP has now been set and it auto detects which one would be uh, the management interface and which one would be test interface. It generally uh, finds out which IP address has a better route or which interface has a better route to this controller and you makes that as a management interface, like in this case, ENS160. But any of these settings, you need to review it. So you can just say cyperf agent configuration show and it will show you what are the interfaces here. And you can, if you really want to change any of these, you can just say cyperf agent set interface set and the name you want for the test or the or the management and you can use tabs here you can use hyphen help uh, to get the help uh, and what is what is the type of command that you need to use uh, for this so we'll do hyphen, hyphen, hyphen. now let me do the same for the cypher server agent so agent hyphen server and uh, set the controller there i have added the server side controller as well but just to represent it graphically what's happening here when you are executing this cypher agent controller set with the controller ip it's basically creating a communication with the controller with the port 30422 and giving all the information like what is my management interface what's my uh, test interface and everything else so that the controller can start seeing these agents and all the details that these agents are providing now since i have added both the client agent and the server agent to the controller if i log into the controller i should be able to see them so let's quickly check that out as well now, this is my controller ip i logged in through one of my preferred browser i would quickly create a new test and i can see this yellow exclamation icons that says no agents assigned if i click on it sure enough i see both the management ips which is ens160 interfaces ips of both the agents showing here 
and I can use them to run tests and I can use any of them to be client, any of them to be server. It's completely up to me which agent becomes client, which agent becomes server based on the UI configuration. Thanks a lot and see you in tutorial three.